What up, players? It's Wobos Tail up in this mud. Got a little bit of a hobby insider video for you today. It's what I use to hold my models. I've gotten a lot of um, comments. Well, not a lot, but enough that I want to address it so that people don't keep having to ask me about what I hold my models on. You've all seen my cork base before, and this is uh, you can get from any hobby store or anything, any kind of store that sells like arts and crafts and that kind of stuff. Yeah, so really more of an arts and crafts kind of store than a hobby store where you would buy your Warhammer miniatures. And um, just ask them for pieces of cork like this, just like a giant humongous champagne bottle. They sell smaller ones. Um, I don't really have any around me to show you at the moment, but they're not, um, they, they would be too small. You want something that you can wrap your hand around and hold rather than having to hold a standard let me show you. When you're holding a model like this and it has such a small surface area, your fingers are really only touching the base in, you know, this little width of area. So if you're painting and you don't have steady hands, which I know a lot of you, um, this might be a concern, then what you tend to do is you your model starts to shake or your fingers start to shake while you're holding the model. So what we do, is, or what I do, is we get a piece of cork and we hold our model there, or we hold the cork there, and you see there's a huge surface area. You could hold it with three fingers rather than two, holding it with my middle finger, my pointer finger, and my thumb. And you can even rest it in the crook of your hand right there, and it's really, really great for, for that. Now on top, I cleaned off the post-it tack that I usually have here, because I want to show you. This is Uhu Tack, removable adhesive putty. I got it from the same store that I got the cork. Reusable, non-toxic, clean and safe. And um, yeah, it's basically poster, poster uh, tack. You, instead of putting tape, which might peel paint or other stuff on the wall, you put this stuff on the back of a poster or on these little silly looking things and then you stick it to glass and it works really well. So let me just show you, I've been using this since like last year and let me show you how much I've used so far. It's unbelievable how long this stuff is gonna last you. And I think I only got this for like four or five dollars. It's really really cheap. But look, I've only used the end because I've been using the same piece, but um, really all you have to do is take like, you know, a little chunk out and work it. It's gonna stay sticky. It's not like green stuff where it starts sticky and then Eventually it will dry out and harden. This stuff will stay sticky. So you just smooth it out to however you like. Stick it on your cork. Put the majority of it towards the center. Just thumb it towards the center because that's what's going to be holding your model, right? And then smooth out the edges. And... Voila! Mesdames et messieurs, you have now a little thing to stick your model on to hold it while you're painting. Then you can hold it at any kind of any kind of angle, like if you want to get into, you know, certain whatever angle you need to get into, rather than holding the base at, you know, very small surface area contact, you've got a great way to manipulate and maneuver your model. Okay, so thanks for watching. This is a little War Boss K insider tip. And um, leave me any questions if you want and I will be sure to answer them. Don't forget to uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and um, hopefully other new painters and new modelers out there, people new to the hobby will see this and um, gain some some insight and some tips really really cheap altogether this modeling setup I would say would be like less than ten dollars So it's a really cheap investment and like I said, I've been using this, you know, since at least last year and possibly longer So it's great. I used to paint every model by just holding it and um, It was just unbelievably hard. It then ended, ended up just being crazy having to hold the base you know very very like in with such small surface contact area so you really want to want to use something that's going to be good for your hands in the long run and the cork and poster tack 
is a great way of doing that. So, again, um, sorry, I don't know how that ended up getting so rambly. I meant to cut it off, but thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.